All right, so welcome to another series of George Favorites of the Month. And this month is August, and I will start with The Boys TV series. It is a TV series based on a comic book with the same name. What I like about it is that it has a different approach on superheroes. The thing is that normally superheroes like Superman, while they are saving the world, they are causing a destruction unintentionally. It just happens because of their superpowers, right? During that, many innocent people die. That part of saving the world is never mentioned and that how the boys series is different they actually show that part behind the scenes and in this series there is actually a corporation that owns the superheroes and they monetize them and market them they portray the superheroes in a good light as heroes as saviors and that is understandable because if they would just walk around people would be scared of their powers superpowers which cause destruction the other side of the corporation the dark side is that they just uh, use it for their own advantage in order to profit and many of the superheroes are actually corrupt and arrogant as superheroes are portrayed in a bright light in a good light they use that to their advantage as it allows to walk without being punished be it intentional crime or unintentional destruction and that creates a really problematic relationship between the corporation and uh, superheroes as well as mortals that is how the main protagonist is involved fighting the superheroes as a form of revenge for death of his girlfriend by the superhero which was announced to public as an accident so this series shows a more realistic part of superheroes and dark side of them which is really a good allegory to our lives today because we also use the marketing tools in order to promote ourselves we always show these best parts of our lives on instagram on social media and we always hide the dark side of ours in the closet in order to get more subscribers and likes that's what the boys tv series Series, does really well it shows that all dark side that we normally don't see in superhero movies and the next on the list is a book it's called uh, king warrior magician lover rediscovering the archetypes of the mature masculine this book is probably more relevant to men as authors introduce and describe four archetypes of masculine energy that are present in each man and in order to become a mature man each man has to balance those energies together which is not easy because these energies has got their opposite forms uh, dark forms which can be easily mistaken with good archetypes now as you probably guessed it from the book title four archetypes are king warrior magician and lover i will go through some of them in order for you to understand what is it all about there's a energy of lover it is an energy of passion emotion and uh, sensuality basically your connection with the world with the present moment your ability to enjoy uh, simple things in your life and its shadow forms are an addicted lover the one who is overdosing with sensuality is constantly searching for more satisfaction and the other extreme opposite to it is impotent lover the one who doesn't feel who is all in his head the one who is numb to sensation so we have these two uh, opposite energies shadow energies which you have to play with understand and control and balance them out in one energy of a truthful honest lover archetype in yourself uh, as a masculine archetype of lover now the next archetype is magician it is an energy of mastery craftsmanship a knowledge its shadow forms are the manipulator is the one who thinks too much actually is the one who knows too much as well and he uses his knowledge for his advantage and for his benefit sometimes for proving himself and others that he's much more superior and the other shadow form is the denying innocent one he avoids anything and denies anything that reminds him to follow his path reminds him of his lack of craftsmanship now there is also a warrior it's all about justice fairness and order the shadow forms are sadist and masochist and the next is the king the king is actually the combination of all of those three archetypes that are balanced grounded decisive present responsive and so on the shadow forms are the tyrant and the weakling and i'm not going to talk about each one of them as authors describe them in great detail they also talk about how these energies are forming in uh, in boys while they are in their childhood and how to balance those energies in order for them to grow into a mature man so if you want to learn more read or uh, listen to the book i leave the uh, links in the description all the time it is really interesting to break down your current state of archetypes your energies to figure out how unbalanced are you in order to balance them out into a one form and become the king and the next on the list is 3d lot mobile app 
3D LUT is known as 3D lookup table. I will not talk about science of it, but it is basically like a filter on Instagram, but it has got a lot of other variations. I was always looking for a quick app that will allow me to apply those filters, as normally it would take time for me to color the image if I put it from mobile phone to the computer and then color it and then bring back. And now I found this app which contains many LUTs. You can just apply them to photos as well as to videos, which is really cool. But you can also manually adjust the brightness, saturation, and all that drill. And the next on the list is a Anchor mouse. I had a problem with my computer mouse with double clicking. So my wife made me a present and got me this mouse from a company called Anchor. It is a, a vertical ergonomic wireless mouse, which you have to hold vertically. So I researched about it and from what I read, I was expecting difficulties to switch to it, as it's said to have a wide restriction for your wrist motion and requires your brain to relearn the pattern of motion. But uh, I didn't have any difficulties. I was really comfortable with it from the first day. Now, the technological part of it, it has got additional back and forth buttons on the side and the top button that changes DPI. Now, it needs two AAA batteries to function and it has got this red arc of light that informs you when the battery goes low or when you change the DPI. And it has got a pleasant surface to its touch. Very comfortable and I think I will return to a regular mouse. So try it out. I think you will like it. And the next one is a rapper, a record producer. By his professional name, he's known as Logic, and by his real name, he's known as Robert Bryson Hall II. So my brother sent an interview with him, and I like the guy. He's honest and open, and I'm not a fan of rap, but uh, this one really caught my attention, especially a track called Homicide, featuring Eminem, and Soul Food, which has got a really similar name as my favorite of the month series, Food for Soul. Maybe I should do this track. Like, uh, like for an intro in the future. So after listening to him, I actually spent some time researching about rap and how it is made, how it is created, which is actually a hell of an art, a poetry, really. Anyway, Logic, check him out. The next one on the list is PJ Dreams ASMR. It is a YouTube channel of a guy who makes videos creating ASMR experience. ASMR is an autonomous sensory meridian response whatever that means. It is also characterized as a combination of positive feelings and a distinct static-like tingling sensation on the skin. And that is triggered by the sounds, you know, like sounds of whisper and sounds of something touching a soft surface. I thought it was a nice change of pace, um, really good variety. And that is created by a special binaural microphone, which allows you to create this 3D sound environment all around you. And I believe he uses it with purpose for people to fall asleep and relax while they listen to these pleasant sounds. And it is pleasant and interesting to listen to and interesting to listen to a different kind of sound that he creates by using a new equipment. And the thing is that he also speaks during the sessions and he talks about the subject that comes to his mind, anything really, and he does this with really, really calm energy by letting it flow. I also checked other YouTubers who do ASMR and most of them have got this rush and uncertainty in them and the sound is also unpleasant and actually annoying. What I learned is that it's not only about the equipment that you have, you know, it's not the sound equipment that you use, but what is important is the performance itself because the most of the energy comes from the performer and that's what PJ Dreams ASMR has. So definitely check him out, subscribe and go to sleep listening to him. So that would be all for this month. Thank you for staying with me so long and see you soon in the next month. So that's okay. Text. Bella, that means... A dog always making a sound here. Like always uh, licking something, barking on people. Not always, I mean, but at the moments when I don't... when I need to be quiet. Anyway, that's a dog of my wife. Sometimes we look after it. Because parents cannot. Anyway.